Hello, Lazzy here, and today I'm checking out these cool shaders for Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.10. If you do want to download it, links are in the description below. It is called Sky N... I think I'm just going to say Sky N Y R D, unless it's like an acronym for Yard or something. I'm not too sure, but the creator is on the screen right now, Lithium. He is the creator of this shader, so do check him out on Twitter. Anyway, let's jump straight into it and create a brand new world and see what the shader is all about. Okay, so I'm being bamboozled right now. I'm going to try to refresh the application and like reinstall the shader so it gets it working. Because this is definitely not the shader. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I've loaded back into the world and it's actually working now. So this is what the shader looks like. So that sky is just magnificent right there. My God, that sun looks so realistic. I really like the clouds as well and they do move, which is pretty cool. Another thing with this shader, if you could tell by the title of the shader, was skies in there because it's pretty much focusing on the sky. So as you can tell, there is no like wavy plants in this shader, which isn't too bad, but like the sky is amazing. That's all I'm to say. And the water as well. I don't think it does anything to the water, but it's just mainly focusing on the sky for this shader. So if you do want some epic skies in your game without changing like the water or like you don't like the moving trees or the moving leaves, then this is it for you because this, look at that sun, look at that sun. You, the more you look at it, the bigger it gets. See, small, big, small, big, small, big. And yeah, that's pretty cool. At the end of this video, I will have some like cinematics of me checking out this shader, like sunrise, sunset, nighttime, and all that good stuff right there. But let's just go talk about some other things. So there is shadows and some cool dynamic shadows, I guess you could call them. It's pretty cool, which is, I actually really like it. I'm going to whip out the torch right now, see what the lighting's like in the dark. We'll try to find a cave. Maybe take 10 years finding a cave. Every time I try to find a cave, you never find one. But every time you don't want a cave, they're just everywhere on your world and it's just annoying. Okay, so let's try to find a cave. And here we go. We found a cave. Could have easily just changed it into nighttime, but I'm not that advanced in technology. Okay, so we're going to put it out. So as you can tell, the lighting is a bit different. The torch does look, it looks realistic. Huh? It does look a bit more realistic, like with the orange tan to it, which is pretty cool. So we'll go down a bit further. Oh, put some more out. So that is pretty much the lighting of this shader right here. I reckon it looks pretty sick. Like if you don't download it, as I said, links are in the description below if you do want to check it out. Really recommend it. The sky does look pretty sick. So this creator is also the one who created the Oasis shader, and that's probably one of my favorite shaders for 1x10 at the moment. But this shader has some pretty skies. Like look at that sun. Oh, it's so amazing. But anyway, that's pretty much for this shader. If you do want to check it out, links in the description below. I will have some cinematic stuff on right now. I'll put some like, you know, daylight sunrise sunset nighttime maybe some weather i don't know we'll see what we go but look at that look at those shadows that looks pretty cool but anyway thank you for watching this video i hope you did enjoy i shall see you in the next one and peace